there it goes on the ground. Thank you. If anybody needs a copy, there's some right there on the yeah, on the. Oh, there. Oh, yes. I, I read it already. Oh, good. So he should. Yeah. Did everybody get a chance to read? I showed him because his is similar to mine. Oh. It's a little yeah. similar. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh we'll get out a few minutes to read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You call it. Oh, okay. do it. And do you want me to read it out loud when he's done? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Well, you, you, can, you don't have to wait for me. You can read it. Go ahead and read it? Okay. Um, I'm at a get-together with many people I know, love, and are friendly with. Everyone is interacting and seems to be enjoying themselves. I take off my shoes and start to walk in the grass. I keep walking further and further away from the party. I see a wall with bushes next to it. I see a hole, spot, where I can squeeze in and lay down between the wall and the bush. I do so, so I do so. It's quiet here and so comfortable. Okay. Uh, I, let's see, uh, shall we, should I just go to the, uh, the spot that I think is important to me? Or should yeah. I ask, should I ask you what, where you see the problem is? Uh, you're, the, you're the one I'm that's, the one? Okay. okay, you decide. Yeah. All right, so, could you tell us, uh, as you were walking away in the last center, where you you know where you see a wall and bushes next to it, mm -hmm. what that was like to go in between the bushes and the wall and lay that lay down between um, the wall and the bush. That um. Hold it. Oh, you got a good thing you're doing, okay. but you ask two questions yeah. instead oh, of one at one. a time. Okay. Right? Yes. That'll... Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Do it over. I'll narrow it down. So yeah. So what was it like to lay down between the wall and, and the bush? Um... Okay, why did you pick that? Well, because it... Because she... I, I guess it's, it's the whole line is, is what I wanted to figure out when she well, went over okay. to squeeze in. Shay, um, what state of mind do you think she's in in the mm. first two lines? Oh, Just, yes, huh? Oh! <laughs> what did I that know. do? I, huh? What did that do to me? Yeah. I, I guess I, I ignore it, and then, but that was a good state. Oh, yeah, that she's... She was in. Mm -hmm. And now she's... And why did she go over there to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So... Okay, let, let's start over. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say, uh, so in the beginning, can you describe the state of mind you were in the first paragraph? Um, well, yeah, I was in a good state of mind in that paragraph. Um, um, everything was going well. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, I was, uh, there were people there I loved and who, were, who I was friendly with. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Funny thing is, is that I, I, everyone was interacting with each other, but I don't remember interacting with anybody there. So that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're interacting with with uh, everyone else was interacting with. Yeah, um, but I don't remember me interacting with them. So were you just observing them? Then you were just observing. Yeah, them? I would say so. I okay. would say so. Okay, so you're just watching all the way around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I go into this weird state of mind where I want to take off my shoes and walk in the grass and um, walk away from the party. Oh, I, I actually like walking on the grass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a bad thing sure, to, to sure. put it in her sure. head. Oh, I do too. I like walking in the grass <laughs> without no shoes on. I right. like it too. So it's a way to connect with the earth. Yeah. Uh, 
Can, can you describe that for you? Mm -hmm. It's a very, place? it's a very um, peaceful, mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> see, um, very childlike. It's very childlike. Um, feeling the, the blades of grass in between your toes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's what I would describe it as, very childlike, playful. Okay, uh, so I guess we're just going to take it a uh, section at a time here. So now, so once you get to the, uh, as you continue walking mm -hmm. away from the party, um, it looks like you also know where you're going. Can you talk about the state of mind you were in when you well, I don't really see a wall and you went into Yeah, I don't, I don't, mind? well, it's like I don't really know where I'm going, but I see the spot that interests me mm -hmm. um, between this wall and this bush and this hole or spot. And it's, um, I almost want to equate it to um, like um, Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. um, And uh, it's like I even, it's like I, um, almost like I'm getting even closer to the, the earth. Instead of just with my feet, I'm doing it with my whole body. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would, I would say it's like that, similar to that. Okay, so I, I have up here a wall and a spot or a hole and you were laying down between the bush and it. So it's very literal. Mm-hmm. And, a, a, but a, can you, can you read the last line and describe that? Because now you're in this space. Yes, I'm in that, that small space. Um, it's quiet there. Um, it's peaceful. It's, um, there's not a whole lot of noise. Um, and... <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I just like it there. I like it there. It's an interesting state of mind. Like, you would think that I want to be fair with all these people, but no, I'm happy here. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting. So we see where that goes? Because it looks like uh, she's isolating herself and she's, she's quite content. Yeah, therefore, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so... So you've got yes. these. Mm -hmm. These are the A, B, C. Yes. Now you're going to get a contrast right. between states of mind, these two states of mind, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So, so, in, uh, Belinda, so in your last line, you were quite happy being by yourself. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, you were very happy, or you there was all these happy and festivity of people around you, right? Mm -hmm. Your family, mm -hmm. and love and friendly with everyone that you mm -hmm. were interacting with, but mm -hmm. you know you were observing. Mm -hmm. But you decided to leave that, but mm -hmm. how do I ask that question? Can you? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I seem to be more happy in this other place in between this wall and this bush than in the first scene. Not that I wasn't happy in the first scene, I just seem to be more happy in this scene. Um, which is odd. Mm 
Yeah. Now the question: <clears throat> uh, What's what's going on now? You see, you got a contrast now, don't you? Right, you have a contrast mm -hmm. between the two. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Uh, so, uh, could you tell us other times when you were experiencing that, at that last state in the dream? Uh, have you had other experiences like that before? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, this reminds me of the Grand Canyon scene again. There it is. Yeah. Oh, darn it. I knew I should have made this wall higher. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. Yes. Right, now what do you want to know? Do you want to take us there? What was, what, how old were you? Yeah, we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, shall we go there and... Yeah, it's a good, it's a good scene. Um, okay. I'm like maybe five or six and... Um, I'm seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time, and uh, I don't remember where everybody else is. I just remember me being there and seeing this and experiencing this, and um, like everything else is like uh, faded away. Mm -hmm. um, it just seems like I'm there. Um, I don't remember where my brother is or my parents are. I'm just fully there, enjoying myself, just myself. Um, so now you and I want to know whether or not there's more to her story than she's telling us, you see. Mm -hmm. I, I am curious yeah, because so she's... You prepared. go ahead and see what you can do. <laughs> go ahead. So, so this, typically, you're on a... A Grand Canyon trip is with a family. Yeah, right? my, my parents were there and, mm -hmm. I, and my brother was there. Um, but when I, was, when I was experiencing this moment, um, I don't know, it seemed like, um, like I was all alone mm -hmm. there in that moment, which is strange because they were there. Um, It's a weird state. It's a weird place to be. Um, it's like what? Yeah, could you put words on that? Because I don't understand what the weird <laughs> state is. Yeah, good. That's it. Um, yeah, please put a word on it. Uh huh. Sorry. It's um, okay. like everything falls away. Um, it's a falling away mm. of everything. Um, and. Uh, all every even my even my own identity falling away of my own identity. Um, it's uh, but it's beautiful. Oh, okay. Can you? Uh, I've seen this. So, what's the l number would you give it between one and ten of beautiful? Oh being God, at that time? I don't even know if I could give it a number. Um, <laughs> The medium? No, it's the highest, the highest, highest the, the highest. highest, the highest. The highest. Yeah. Okay. Right. Way up there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's like that. Mm -hmm. It's like that. <laughs> what else do we, we, we well. ask? It's, it's doing fine. Say, so why is that important? Because uh, you couldn't have gotten that until you asked that question, right? Right. And we asked the same question before, mm -hmm. right? And you didn't find any way to to get I, her I, to. I, I didn't. Same thing. You could have said. I, until I started putting things down and putting the questions yeah, with, with her. Right. 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 Now we both have the same curious question, don't we? Like, why is she having this? What is this telling her? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, pure read my mind. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the last dream I had uh, mm -hmm. when I was here, there seemed to be something that um, I was missing. And uh, maybe my dream master is trying to bring it up again. What is it that I'm missing? Um, or maybe that's how I perceived it. Um, am I really missing anything? 
That's another question I have for myself. Um, hmm. So, um, why do you think you're having this dream? Is it reminding you of something? You went back, as it were, to something similar in a five-year-old scene. Mm -hmm. That means you're connecting with something in your past that was very positive. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And now you're visiting it again. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I was, um, the dream before the last dream, I was trying to remember when I had this state, and it was um, like a fog. I just remembered I had it. And so I went home and I told myself I was going to remember when the first time I experienced mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, three scenes, well, I think there might have been two or three scenes, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But at least two scenes came into my mind of when I first experienced uh, the, this, this thing. So there's one word in there that's curious. Um, where I can squeeze and lie down. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think of that? What's that like? Where I can squeeze and lie down. Mm -hmm. It's that's the same state again, like um, like a falling away. Um, like a falling away, like that preceded it. Mm. Accompanied it. See the question we behind this is: mm. Is that a yoga you're involved in that you can? you're getting into and you know where it's going and you allow yourself to go there? Mm. If so... I would like is, to go is, there more Is that often. dream encouraging you to do that? Find uh, a quiet place and sit? Ah! Ah! ah. Mm. Hear that? Oh. Hear that? <laughs> Let's see if we can get it again. What did you say? Yeah! <laughs> It's obvious. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Ah. So then, can you tell us why you think you have the dream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because my dream master is funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's what I'm supposed to do, is uh, find a place, Good. sit, and Good. try to get into this state again. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Good. Good, yeah. Right. Okay. No. So, so we even check no, the second no. dream? Or? Wait, wait, I have a oh. question on the last dream. Come on. And it's a, yeah, meta, it's a meta question. The problem that I personally find doing dream work or midwifery uh, as the midwife that I encounter uh, is right at the end where Pierre asked you that question. I want to know as a midwife um, uh, well, we, we often go through this. We're midwifing, we're practicing, Pierre is watching, and we get what we think is an insight into mm -hmm. the dreamer or the pregnant party's problem, right? And we so badly want to tell them what we see, but mm -hmm. we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We can turn it into a question. Right. But if we turn it into a question, and here's my question, mm -hmm. how do we know we're not leading the witness with our own insight. Oh, that's easy. In that case, you no, went, no. oh, or yes, it's true. Wait a minute. But we are leading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Right, I'm saying, hey, would you like to get back in that state? Yes, I do. That's leading. Yeah, but you, you, you said, is it possible that your dream is telling you that you should get back in, you know, you, you know how to do this, you've done it before, and you should do it more often. Mm -hmm. She says, oh, yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. with, with, that, it, with well, that question, Pierre, I, I was going to ask, like, uh, how does she crawl in there, and how, does she, how would she, like, position herself? That's right. I don't know if that would be the right question. Well, no, no. Uh, well, yoga is all about that, right? You so get in a, in a certain position, right? right. Mm -hmm. And you 
you uh, meditate, right? That's so, what yoga yeah. is all about, right? Right, right. Yeah. So you got your answer. Right, yes, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's worthwhile. I mean, was, was that question important? If, like, well, 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 ask her. Right was that important? Yeah, because that's what Say it's it? all about. You have to get in a certain position. So you don't have to ask her. Ask her person. And you, you pay attention to your breath. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all a... Um, a I bring this with you. Yes, it's a position. Right, right. Yeah. She's got her own yoga. Yeah. Yeah. Because the worst they could do is just say no. That's not what's going on. Okay, Jeff. Sir. Oh, well, am I going to do one? Okay. So she spoke up. Don, thank you. Your that, no, this her. is mine. That's, oh, this is another one. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, I'm just warning you, these ones are a little bit harder for me. <laughs> They're harder for you? Why is that? Because I'm, a, I'm an observer. Instead of um, it happening to me, I'm watching it happen. So it's a little well, harder for me. Harder in what way? Because when it's me, it's like I have, I can tell you what I'm feeling, what um, is going on with me mentally, you know? It's more personal. It's more personal when it's happening to me, if that makes any sense. So you're aware of those things mm -hmm. when you're an actor in the dream, but you're not aware when you're an observer. Because I don't know what their state of mind is, what the people that are in my dream state of mind is. I know what my state of mind is, but I have no idea what they're thinking or what's going on with them. Does that make any sense? And when you're an observer, you don't have any of those states? It's more of a, um, like a curiosity of why they're doing these things. Okay, All right, good. But you're calling it harder, which is curious. Because it's like, um, instead of it being personal, mm -hmm. it's like it's more of a, I don't know how to explain it. It's more of a, um, I'm just like observing it, like a movie, you know? Like more a movie. Detached. Yeah, I'm already detached. detached. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. So I'm just telling you. Okay. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm watching people doing what looks like an experiment on a lizard. The lizard seems like a pet, very tame and friendly. They bring a fake lizard and have the two interact with each other. The tame lim lizard seems to change to being more like the fake lizard, half alive, half not. Then they do this again, and the lizard changes even, again, even more like the fake one, not, more not alive. They go off and are doing something, not watching the lizard. Then a metamorphosis takes place, and the lizard seems to come out of a cocoon-type state, where the lizard becomes completely wild and starts to eat their furniture, all the while they are not watching. Nice. Well... Starting question we always ask, right? Um, what do you what do you make of it? Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Um, Hmm. A lot of strange things are happening, that's for sure, and um, Do you want to talk a little bit about the... Oh, go ahead. Don't let me I have that. a lot of questions, like um, like this half, this lizard being half alive, half not, and then the more he interacts with this this fake lizard, the more he becomes the fake lizard, but then at the end, this monomorphous takes place and then he becomes wild. It's like, yeah. um, it's very interesting and I'm wondering like, um, what does it mean? 
So what I like about this dream is, and I, what I like about your explanation just now, mm -hmm. is that um, it's such a small, compact, and I, I can really appreciate the perfection of this dream. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's almost not a word wasted anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the first question that comes to mind for me, Pierre, as a midwife, is where's the mystery? It's where? Where's the mystery here? Where's the puzzle? Well, um, so I don't, I'm not sure I know what to ask. I, I could ask her, like, what's it like when you see the metamorphosis? What's that like? What does that do to you when you oh, see that, it? Oh, that was sure. awesome. Sure. That was awesome. Well, yeah. but, but did you have a way you just suggested Oh, okay. good. And she says that was awesome. Yeah. It was, it was really, it, it, like? was, it, was, it was really interesting. Um, it was like the lizard had like this, this ball on the side of him. A white ball, and um, it's like a almost like a like a butterfly metamorphosis, and like he comes out of that, and he comes, and he's like wild, and he starts to eat the furniture, which is very interesting. Why would a lizard be eating furniture? But yeah, it was just very interesting. Um, it, was, it was very... Uh... You said it was hard at the beginning. I know I'm in the <laughs> Right, right. But here's a state that did something to you, mm. even as an observer. Can you put mm. more words on it? Yeah, um, I'm wondering why this took place. Um, uh, like, what provoked this to happen? Like, you're this, wondering that now, or you were in the dream? I was wondering in the dream. I was wondering in the dream, like. Um, mm. Um, it seemed, it seemed, um, like how can something that is, was once like packed, well dead, right, come back to life and even be more, uh, like itself, than it was in the beginning. More like itself. Right. Talk about that. Um, because in the beginning, he seems like a pet, not wild. Right. So there's a pet, friendly, I think is another word you mm -hmm. use, right? Mm -hmm. Then he goes to the second stage where he's... More like the fake lizard. He's affected by the fake lizard and yeah. he gets less and less alive. Yes. And then... And then and then, boom, this ha takes place and he becomes more like himself. Or more, more like, a, like a lizard that you would see in, a, in the wild. Um, so which one is more like himself? This one or um, the final state? The final. That's more like himself. Mm -hmm. I would say so, yes. And you're asking why? Yeah. What caused this to happen? Yes. So it puts you into a state of... Like what? Questioning, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and and, then, and it's curious because this while this is taking place, mm -hmm. these people weren't even watching it. They weren't watching this magnificent thing happening. Which only happened after they left. Af right? Only after they left. So they, they took off. Yes. And like I was the only one who was watching it. Can you describe this at all a little more? They were just normal people. Um, they didn't really. Like what was this? Can you describe it all? Their state yeah. of mind. Yeah, <laughs> that's hard for me. It's like um, like they didn't like they didn't care about mm -hmm. what 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 was going on with the lizard. They didn't. Um, um, 
have any concern for it. Um, no concern. Um, just like, oh, you know, you know, oh well, that's what happened. Uh, guess we're just gonna go on with our life now. Type of state, I guess. I don't know. It's hard for me to say. Uh, I, I'm just a little curious as to the first part. You use the word experiment. The yeah, 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 were yeah. Experimenting. Can you describe what they were doing there? Like they had an interest then. They don't have an interest here. Yeah, only what was, when. What was that like when they had an interest? Only when they were doing this thing with the. I want to call it an experiment because it was weird to me. Like, uh, why are you introducing this lizard to a fake lizard? Um, so you had a second question. Yeah. This is one, and then you had a two. Or actually, they came in the other direction, right? Uh huh. Why are you doing it? Yeah. And when you say experiment, was it. I want to call it an experiment because. Um, because. It was like, um, there was, it was weird to me that they were doing this. It was like, um, yeah, what was weird about it? Because it's a fake lizard. Why would you interact a fake lizard with a real lizard? Why wouldn't you interact a real lizard with a real lizard? What's a fake lizard? Like, um, like either plastic or uh, stuffed or toy. A toy lizard? Um, um, it's weird because... Um, like they wanted to see like how it would interact with this, um, this non-living thing. But you know, so they have a question too. I don't know. How's, don't know. how's the, these two guys going to right, interact? But you know that this is weird because... How would a, a live <coughs> thing interact with a fake thing? But it does have an effect. Yes, and that even makes me more like, what is going on here? <laughs> it's even like, so what? So that led to your, to your second question. Yeah. Wait, I thought this was weird. It wasn't going to have any effect, but it does have an effect. Mm-hmm. But after it has an effect, um, which gets us to here where it's less alive, mm -hmm. um, they're not interested in the effect that it had. I, yeah, it's almost like so, they thought that it, the experiment was over because it's now dead. Or the, was it a success or was it a failure? They didn't see the success. They didn't see that later, but the, I'm talking about the first part where they put them together, the fake mm -hmm. one and the right, and it had an effect on the live mm -hmm. lizard. Mm -hmm. They're still there, right? Mm -hmm. But after it had this effect and he's getting less and less alive, they walk away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was the experiment, did you get an impression as an observer that they called that a success or they simply, as you said here, don't care? I would say more like this. Okay. So they don't care, and after they leave, and that's another puzzle. It's like, happens. why would you, why would you do all these things to this lizard, and just walk away like? Right. So you have a third question. Mm -hmm. Why don't you care? Yeah. Especially after you did all this your experiment had a result. Yes. And the most interesting part of the result. Happened you didn't even the see it. Right. So <laughs> the stage four it. thing, you didn't even get to see it. Yes. What kind of state of mind is that in you? Uh, when you see all this, and especially the beauty part, and the people who had this had to walk off. What does that do to you? Huh. That's a good question. Um... Hmm. Let me help you. Uh, it makes you happy. No. It makes you feel like you are when you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> mm, no. It makes me... Um, sad. Mm. 
um, makes me um, want to know why. Um, it makes me. Um, Is that why a different question than this, or the same question? I'm trying to remember this question again. Um, why didn't? Why did they leave? It's the same, isn't it? Why did they leave after they had a result? They don't care, and the best part. Yeah, when I see the don't, when they, when I see they don't have any care, or they don't, mm -hmm. they don't have any concern, that brings on the sadness. Why sad? Um, because this is a beautiful creature, and they caused it to die, mm -hmm. and then they walk away. When and it comes back to life. Yeah, when it comes back and to life. And it also has an effect on the furniture, too. Yeah, that's, I thought was funny. It's a little too alive, right? Mm. Yeah, a little too there. alive. Yeah. Is that a familiar state to have this, this state and the, the question that goes with it? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just curious. It may not be the, the question to ask, but I, I think you have some very <coughs> nice, nice states here because you have at least three questions, mm -hmm. and they're all good ones. They have what you're saying, and I agree with you. It's not so great a question. Mm -hmm. But even then, they give up on it. Or they think their experiment is, is done. One of the two, I don't know. Done with thumbs up or down? They didn't seem to care either way. Yeah. So, it's like, what's the dream telling us about questions? <laughs> what did you just see? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a little conversation earlier with Pierre about these things um, that I really don't want to go into. Um, but yeah, it makes sense now. Who okay. has the good questions? Me. And who's holding on to them? Me. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, you uh, did further? you ask, uh, what was it like when you saw the fake lizard? Mm. Hmm. What was it like? You know what? My concern wasn't for the fake lizard. It was more for the the one that was alive. Yeah, it's li half alive and half dead. <laughs> oh, that happened to the the one that was in the beginning. Is not the first, the second sentence. Um, no. Okay, so there's two lizards. One's completely fake. The other one's alive. Yeah. Then they introduce the fake one to the live one, and then the live one becomes half and I agree half. with you. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Right. Did you answer my question? Can you repeat the question? Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What was it like when you saw the fake lizard, seeing that it was half alive and half dead, as you described it? The fake. What did it do to you in the dream? The fake lizard. Wait a minute. Switched around. Yeah, this is the live lizard. What? This is the li this was the oh, lizard that was alive, <laughs> and then I know, but he knows. I know. He's. I know. This this it's, a tr it's a. It's a tricky good. question. <laughs> it's a quest. It's a this tricky one, question. They introduced the fake one. Mm -hmm. and you did have a question, not about the fake one, but about why they're even putting them together, and you mm -hmm. called it weird. Yes. But just slightly ahead of that, he's asking. The fake lizard itself, when you saw that, what did it do to you in the dream? I was more concerned with the live one. That's what did you say? I was more concerned with the live one. No, it's very I'm slippery, isn't it? I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> that didn't answer the question. Uh, it, Can you... Um, hmm. What was it like when you saw the fake lizard? Can you go back in time and just take a breath? The first time you saw it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Um, just take your time. 
don't have a ball game to go to. Mm -hmm. Remember that moment, right, when you took it out? That is so strange. I have, it's like I feel like I have no feelings towards it whatsoever. Mm. Describe that a little bit more for us. Um, no feelings whatsoever. Because it's not alive, because it is um, not real, um, It's like there's there there ha there's no um, connection. So, um, could you tell me what you see as the drama of this dream with these two lizards? One is affecting the other. What what? One is affecting the other. And making the other into what? Um, itself. Making it into itself. Uh, pardon me, are you in the dream? Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, the fake lizard does something with the real one. Mm hmm. Now, what would you call what he's doing or she is doing? The fake one to the real one? As they interact. It's making it more like itself. Which is? And then how does it end them? With the metamorphosis. Look, if it's eating the furniture, is there any danger for you? No, for these people. But it's eating the furniture. You're there alone in the dream, are you not? See, this is... No the, one else is watching or... But this seems like more of like I'm observing it from the outside. I like that. I don't feel, I don't feel concerned, like, okay, for my, that's my safety. That's a good, that's <laughs> a good answer. But are you seeing... What kind of transformation, then, are you seeing... Hmm. I wanted to call it that it's, it was becoming more like its, its true self. But in reality, what happened to it? Hmm. Like what kind of metamorphosis is this? That's a good question. What, what? That's a good question. Oh, yeah, I, that's why I thought I'd ask you. Hmm. What kind of metamorphosis is this? It, oh, huh? it's anger. I want to call it anger. What, what? I want to call it anger. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What are you looking at then? You, you used the word wild, but now it looks like it's anger. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That opened the door, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dream Master's funny, man. You making some connections? Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, why are you having this dream? What we talked about earlier. <laughs> what, what? What we talked about earlier in the kitchen. What was that? I fret my memory is so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what do you see? Because if that's true, you're not seeing the role of the fake lizard. Mm. Yes, I am not seeing the role of the fake lizard. Two bumpers together. Who's the fake lizard? That's the bumper sticker. <laughs> I want to print that one up. <laughs> Who is the fake lizard? 
if this is matching your experience, finish it. Then you'd want to know what? Who the fake lizard is. What, what? Who the fake lizard is. Oh, that's a good question. <coughs> and no one else notices it. <laughs> Except for me. Oh, but you, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Uh, that's likely leading you to a conclusion. I'm glad you see the conclusion because I'm still stuck. What, what, what? I'm stuck. No, you're not. Because you can ask the question now, can't you? Who's the tame? Yeah. Who's I the mean, the fake lizard. Who's the fake lizard? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can ask who's the fake lizard. Hmm? Yeah, I can ask who's the fake lizard. What, what? I can ask who's the fake lizard. Yes, yes, yes. That may be doing what? It, um, trying to make others like itself. Oh. Oh. Let me do that again. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All righty then. And my guess is you don't have to do it on camera, but my guess is the reason why you guys are both chuckling is that it has multiple answers, right? Answers maybe just in the last week, but also answers earlier in life at, all, at various levels, right? It, Lizards at, at various stages of my life. Stages. Yes. But what they all have in common mm. is... Mm -hmm. You mean this may fit your life? Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I want to... This is really awesome. Um, you started out saying, uh, prefacing this dream exploration with, this one's a little harder for me. Mm -hmm. And what I find interesting is that in this you were the observer, but then there's this, this anger effect that Pierre got into. Right? Mm -hmm. In your life, again, don't get, don't have to get specific. But is the anger in others when you see a fake lizard, or is the anger in self, or sometimes goes back and forth? Mm, that's see, a good question. Uh, what is the in terms of method? Mm. Uh, you ask the right question in the beginning, which is. Right? That's when you wrote that on the right-hand side. Uh, yeah. The and some, sometimes the right question may better come later. See, you got the right question. About the wild? Yeah. This thing? Yeah. That's a different question. Well, well that's, that's just, it's the anger, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, but you kept on, you, you left it. You left that, and then oh. you, okay, you like that was, yeah, there's, there's a lot there, see? Then why did I leave that? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I noticed it, and see, that's where the, that's where the force mm -hmm. of the dream, right? you went right to it. Mm -hmm. But like notice, well, but the, the, notice the, that there are uh, <clears throat> six stages in the dream. And they are progressive. They are They follow one another in a sequence. So it's a very tight dream in that respect, is it not? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like sequential, sequential. Mm -hmm. And it ends, therefore, at that final eating the furniture <laughs> act. <laughs> and mm -hmm. you use the word wild. Yes. And that disguised the word anger. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. So you didn't see it the way, right? Now putting the right word on it does something, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's um, something that I'm, I'm familiar with doing that uh, instead of calling it anger, I call it something else. Mm. Always call it something mm. else. Always More call like it itself. something else. Instead of like itself, mm -hmm. which is anger. Mm -hmm.
-hmm. But in a sense, even though you're lessening it a little bit, it is honest to say it's now more like itself because it's honestly responding to what the fake lizard did to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Or these people. Or what the people did. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like it. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I, just, I try to disguise it by calling it something yeah. else. <laughs> and that term, not watching, appears twice in the dream. Mm -hmm. So that means the dream is insisting that you're the one who's watching left alone. Right? Uh, so this is something you're seeing, they're not seeing. Right? Even though it's a remarkable thing that's going on. Hmm. Mm hmm Actually, watching is in here three times, and it's the it's the very it's in the very first two. Yeah, words. that's true. The two, but you're right. It's there are two not watching. Yeah. But it starts with I'm watching. Yeah, right. So the positive right. one is her. Right. It right. says it right there, right there. The, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is yes, uh, this is a at a metaphysical level. This is. An injustice. This is, this is self observing injustice and responding to it, which we can all relate to. And um, the contrast between the two dreams is quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so to compare them now. Right? So it looks like the second one is an uh, internal conflict. Did, uh, the first did you, one is yeah. metaphysical. Mm. Right? So they're going on simultaneously. This happened the same night? Yes. And two did come after one? Yes. I don't know why I asked that. <clears throat> mm. hmm. Yep. This is well, me. It's a, a nice uh, dream, isn't it? Both of them? Yeah, I like them. I now like here, them both. What I want to ask at this point of Belinda is, uh, help me, what I want to ask is, what does your being an observer instead of an actor in the dream, uh, <laughs> what? It goes right back to what we were talking about in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so why did the dream master craft it yeah. that way? Because that's my role. That's the role I play. And if you're just an observer, uh, you have voice or no voice? So if you're an observer, you're allowing it to go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's more like a pathologo seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, mm -hmm. at no point did she say, hey, what are you guys going with? Mm -hmm. Are you stupid? Mm -hmm. Something important is going on. Mm -hmm. How come you're coming? Yeah, I don't say anything. But that gets back to my question earlier, but I, I, I think you rightly pointed out it's, it's a question of method, but I want to ask, <coughs> who is anger? Of course. But she knows the nature of the anger. Mm hmm I know. So you don't need to go any further with it. Okay. Right? Yeah. We, did, like, we discussed it earlier. Okay. But did you ever think there was a... Uh, Fake lizard involved? No, and now I'm going to try to <laughs> figure out. Where did that question come from? <laughs> now I'm going to try to figure out what, what this fake lizard's all about. Mm -hmm. I want to find out now what it's all about because I am like clueless. But maybe, I'll, maybe my dream master will help me with that. What? Yeah, there's something, there's something I'm still not seeing. And something I'm still not um, coming to grips with. And I think that's the fake loser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you had the question earlier, is who, who is the fake loser? Yes, yes, and I... Um, or you could make it metaphysical and ask, what is the fake loser? Thank you, yeah, what is the fake loser? Thank you, that, I like that one even better. What is the fake loser? Yes. 
Yeah, what is the fake lizard? I like that. Something for me to meditate on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the fake one appears to be very friendly. And, mm. <laughs> but in fact, what is that one doing? See, he always does that. He, why does he do that? He knows I'm talking about the other one. <laughs> Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. huh. Because okay, because the other one takes on the attributes of the other one. Okay. Okay. Um, is it likely that we are treading on dangerous ground? <laughs> That's, Shedding light on those shadows. That, that's why it takes on the form of mm -hmm. animals and mm -hmm. little things mm -hmm. right behind it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just a little experiment. <laughs> just a little experiment. We're just going to poke you a little bit. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 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 Stay on. Don, want to do it? Good, good. Sure as hell is. Hmm. Can I read it? Okay. Uh, so this was last night's dream. I'm at a, fest, uh, at a festival or carnival of some kind. There are lots of activities going on. I am visiting family and socializing with folks and doing different fun events. Somehow there was a point that I was near the edge of this cement, it should be curb. The ground gave way and I fell in the water. It seemed like it should have been deeper, but somehow it was just my legs in the water. My brother said, get out right away as there's a water monster in there in the water that is aggressive and it will get me right away. As soon as I heard this, I paused to see what would happen for a moment. My legs are the only part of my body in the water, but for some reason when I tried to lift them up, I couldn't move. I, I struggle very hard to... I struggle very hard... It felt like, it felt like a long time before I could move. You're at a festival, a carnival, so what state of mind would you be in, in that? Uh, I was having a lot of fun talking with, with, good, you know, with good people and visiting and being very comfortable and laughing and giggling. <laughs> Sorry about my spelling. Um, so you were in a uh, great state in this first uh, first sentence, sounds like, right? Yes. And uh, you were interacting, socializing, having fun, talking, you were very comfortable. And then somehow, there was a point that uh, you were at, on an edge. When you, uh, when you notice that you're on the edge and uh, I'm just going to get to the point. 
um, when you fell in and you noticed that you were just uh, at your legs, what state of mind were you in at, at that point? Um, I was I was like talking and, and having fun. Um, so you're still in an okay I, state. I, well, really good state, uh huh? A good state. Even though you were in the water. Oh no! Just leading up to it, and then when I went to the edge, uh -huh. I could feel that the ground was like giving, giving way. way. Mm -hmm. And and so you got into a um, what type of state? When I stepped on it. Yeah, and you saw it giving way. What type of state did you get? In um, right <laughs> I, it literally just kind of pull me in because the ground and I just couldn't control it anymore. Yeah, no, no yeah. state of mind, it just happened. It was it, like an accident, right? Yeah, it was just like an accident. Okay, uh -huh. an accident. Now, once, once you uh, fell in and you were standing in the water, what state of mind were you there? Um, I was surprised because I thought it was going to be a little deeper. But somehow it, it was just like my legs. I thought I was going to be fully submerged in the water. Okay, so you you uh, you basically uh, expected the worst, but you didn't. It it didn't happen. So mm -hmm. you were like in a uh, what? Uh, basically, you were like, uh, oh, thank God, right? Like yes. Relief. Yes. Until. <laughs> Until yes. Until you hear your brother scream and tell you that there's a, a monster and it's aggressive. And what type of state did that put you in? Uh, <laughs> well, he said it was going to get me like right away, like it was going to happen like instant. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, well, if it's instant, then I, I would be dead already or something, you know? So you were and rationalizing I, it. Right. And uh, so I waited to see before I was going to move, you know, like react. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then be, when I was trying to do that, I couldn't even move my leg. It was just like lead. It was just completely heavy. So were you in a, 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 a great state of mind at that point? No. No, I was really helpless. Helpless. Does that bring back anything, that helpless feeling? Yeah, hmm. I don't know. Yeah? You don't have to talk about it, but it brings back a, it, a state. Right? Yes. A, a, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and then, uh, you struggled very hard, and it felt like a very long time before you could move. What type of state is that? Same helpless, or can you put more words on that? Mm. It, it's, it's like constant struggle, and then the harder I try, the... I mean, it... it didn't get worse. That the harder I tried, the harder it became. I guess, like, and um, um, does that bring back anything that we could talk about? That type of um, state of mind. Probably, I, I, I just can't think of anything, <laughs> anything far back. But just leading up to... Just recently, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or something, maybe last week or a couple of weeks. Right. Anything? You felt this this way? Um, well, yeah. Uh, I think it was something with... <laughs> with somebody having a job situation and... Uh, and what it was was the uh, I guess I can share without naming names the the, uh, the person was there was an injustice that was happening to this person and then uh, 
everyone else around this individual was getting the raise, you know, increase in money, and then um, this person was completely left out, and the person that had the power to do this was the manager. Um, and, you know, and, and the individual became really unhappy, and I completely felt helpless and supporting or, or making any difference. Was there anything you could have done at that, I, at that point? I've tried to, to make him feel better, but um, I, I suppose I could maybe, you know, try to blackmail the boss or something. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's true. Um, Note to self. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, help me up here, please. Mm. Help me. <laughs> um, do you read that line about your brother? My brother said. Yeah, read My that brother line. said to get out right away, as there's a water monster in the water that is aggressive, <coughs> and it will get me right away. What did it do to you in the dream at that moment? Um, it, it gave me this sense of fear right. that, yeah. uh, Does that mean you believe it in? It made me believe it. Oh, oh. So, um, when you were in the water, uh, how high was the water? <laughs> well, I thought it was deeper, but once I was in there... Up to what? what it was your... just like... You know, oh, like up to below my your knees. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what did you think of your brother's prediction? Because, uh, you know, I mean, it's well known that uh, water monsters that are very aggressive usually stay in water. Uh, below your knees. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I don't know what kind of monster it was. What? You know, I just thought maybe it was a very midget-like monster that would just... <laughs> well, the, what, the, what is the dream doing? It's telling you something about your brother. Mm. Isn't it? Well, it... Well, give him a grade. How's he doing for predicting the future? Uh, well, he's, he's, he's doing excellent, right? He did all right? Yes. Oh, did. because you would expect I aggressive it. monsters in the water that are very aggressive to be around water that's only beneath your knees. Yeah, well, I agree. Well, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, well, after that, then I don't believe it, you know. I mean, now that I look at it, it's not true. Oh, oh, okay. I just asked, you know. mm -hmm. Now, just one more question. Uh, how does it end? Um, In the dream, how does it end? Read, read the, end, the last sentence. Oh, uh, I struggle very hard. It felt like a very long time before I could move. It ended okay. How, how did it end then? It ended fine. Uh, did you end up that you could move? Yes. Oh, let me do that again. Oh. <laughs> That's nice to know that you could move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... It, uh, what's it like now that you know you can move in the dream? It's good. It, it's great. What? It feels good. What about the monster? Well, I guess there wasn't one. No, there wasn't one. Well, good heavens, what's this going on with your brother? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. 
What's going on with him? I don't know. <coughs> what? I don't know. Sure you do. Did it turn out to be, was he right? No, he's not right. He's oh, wrong. Oh, then give him a grade. So he, he, he got an F. Oh. He failed. <laughs> what does that mean in the dream? Um, What's going on? So, well, I, I took it very hard when I... What, what? Well, I, I guess I allowed him to scare me into thinking, and I, be, and I, and I feel... Are, are you getting good advice or bad advice? Bad advice. Yes. Bad advice. Bad advice. Good heavens. Yes. But I, I just feel really sad that I got scared and I allow myself to feel that. Really? <laughs> yes. Watch now. Is that in the dream or is that your reflection now? Hmm. I think it's my reflection now. That's right. So. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the dream. Oh, okay. So let me ask you again. What is it like when you discover you can move and there's no monster in the water? Uh, I, it, it feels good that I realized that there wasn't anything, but it was, it was, I was still like shaken, you know, like after being able to come out of it. Um, Don, did he answer that? the question? <laughs> no, go ahead, you do it. Maybe, maybe if you ask him, he'll answer it. What did he ask? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it like? Come on. At the end of the dream, when you realize there's no monster, oh, it, 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 it shallow like, water, it felt like oh, and you can move. Eventually, I was like, what? Oh. what? It felt like oh, you know, a like lo a little bit. No, like a lot. Like a lot of all. A lot of oh. I, well, I, I, how I, can, I can move and I didn't get my leg eaten. Then to one to ten, where do you put that awe? Uh, and in not thinking about the fear, uh, high. Really? Yes. Like right here? Oh, that's a realization of some the, kind, isn't the it? High, high, high yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Hey, does that mean it's a victory? It is. Oh, mm -hmm. what do you think of your brother? I don't know why the hell he's saying these things. Why, why he, he said that. Hey, who's playing your, rather, your brother in your world? It didn't seem like him in the dream. Well, hey, I'm just asking, if this relates to your life, mm -hmm then it's likely that someone may be playing the role of your brother. Yep. Yep, there's, there's, I think there's a lot of different people that... That fit, would fit. That fits that mask, mm. that wears that mask. Mm. That I What's the dream telling you? Um, not to believe, not to believe them? No. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And how are you doing? I was doing fine the whole yeah. time, unless I believed them, and then I would feel into that yeah. trap. I would freeze up and not move. Yeah. You're doing real good then. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How good are you doing? Can you compare it with other things you've done in your life? That state uh, you called awe? Uh, How high is that? It, it's very high. I've, I've done a lot of good things, yeah. if I don't get into that same trap. Yeah, so how are you doing? Because I, <laughs> I know it'll come back. But I'm doing great. So, ah, I'm thank you. Great. great. Awesome. Right. Good. Very interesting, right? Right? <laughs> thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do you didn't do? Uh, I didn't... Uh... That's right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Eldar, and Good luck, Eldar. Well, I'm just saying to the crazy people. <laughs>
<laughs> Maria. I pray for my dad. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, let her read it, then you can look at it over. And then we'll need more time? Uh, yeah. Okay. He says he wants to pass. Just kidding. <laughs> he didn't say that. <laughs> right? <laughs> he wants to know who his lifeline is. And, no, just kidding. I told him sorry. Oh, the dirt on his face. Okay. <laughs> May I ask you just for a quick? Is the last pot, the food knife, is that in the drain? No. Dawn said I woke up and I was like struggling and saying, get off me, get off me, get away type thing. Mm -hmm. And I was sweating really bad, like I was fighting something. <laughs> he didn't tell you he was standing on you? He happened to be standing on you at the time? No, no. Or if so, he may have let me up and then <laughs> tried to nudge me awake. <laughs> There was no evidence of that. <laughs> yeah, the tampering involved in that. Okay. Ready? I, I am. When you're ready, let it happen. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> okay. I was going to do a public reading among a group of people I didn't know but I felt the need to disguise myself and wear a mask so that I could get my message Go across. Slower. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Slower and louder. Okay. Good. Go ahead. I was going to do a public reading among a, among a group of people I didn't know, but I felt the need to disguise myself and wear a mask so that I could get my message across. As I started walking around and reading to the group, I realized that I had not changed my socks and that I may be recognized if someone were paying enough attention. My scene changes, and I'm walking when I step on a piece of glass and my foot starts to bleed. I realize that a smaller black cat is suddenly very close to me and then a larger black cat, then another cat. After they are all near me, I realize that they are all starving and want to eat me. And then um, this was something else. Okay. So... Hmm. Well, the feeling I had was as if they weren't going to listen to me, the group of people, and that I had to have a disguise so that they would actually listen to me. Mm -hmm. Because if they had seen me for who I am, they wouldn't listen to the message I had, because they had already had an opinion and they weren't going to listen to what I had to say. So I felt the need to, to do that. But in doing so, I realized that I hadn't changed my socks. And I didn't want them to. I realized that, and I said, what if someone recognizes me? Then I'm going to be found out, basically. And I didn't want that to happen. But I had that realization, and then the scene changed suddenly. Mm -hmm. So. So, um, I, I just felt 
but I wanted them to hear what I had to say. However, I could get that across to them. Was it important to to have them hear what you have to say? Yeah. It was. I felt the need to get that out and have them hear the message I had for them. Yeah. Yeah, very important. So, um, what is it about the socks that's, um, can you, can you say more about the socks? It was just a, a misstep. I, I, I missed, I didn't realize that I had left the socks on and I thought, well, bluntly, oh shit, they're going to find me out. They're going to find out that it's me and they're not going to be accepting of anything I have to say because it's me. Because it's me. And the socks are going to give me away. Something because I had just mistakenly forgot the socks. Because it's you? What do you mean by that? Well, because what I had to say before, they weren't listening. I, there was a feeling of them not, they, didn't, they weren't listening. They wouldn't listen to me, my message. So I had to disguise who I mask. was mm -hmm. in order to get them to, to hear my voice. Uh, what, do you, uh, what do you make of the, the scene with the, the cats? What's going on with the cats? That was weird because I asked them not to hurt me after I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I stepped on the glass and instantly when the blood started coming out, I looked up and there was a, a smaller cat, then a bigger black cat, and then another cat that just was different. It was just a different cat. It wasn't black like the other two. And then I realized that they were starving and that they were going to feed on me, that they wanted to eat me. But it upset me. It upset sure. me, and I woke up because sure. I, I know that I just didn't think they would hurt me. I asked them not to. In my dream, I said, don't hurt me. Hmm. I asked them not to hurt me. Okay. What was it like when you... Um, when I know you... I left that out. Sorry about that. In the dream. Then you left the house? No, I left that out in the writing, so I apologize for leaving that oh. part out. Okay. Um, what was it like when you realized you're, you're about to... Um, okay. You're reading to the group, and then you realize that you... Then I realized I had not changed my socks. What was it like to realize that? I couldn't believe I made such a mistake, and if I'm found out, they won't listen. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe I made such a mistake after taking such steps to be careful and make sure that what, they could hear something so important. <laughs> what state of mind were you in? <laughs> Disappointed in myself and disbelief at the same time, I guess, that I would mm -hmm. misstep that. I would just miss it. Something so simple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, Disappointed. And a hope that I wouldn't be found out. Or a... I guess just... You just realized maybe that. thinking maybe they wouldn't be observant enough to want to notice mm -hmm. I, I was hoping they wouldn't be observant enough to notice it just to okay. to notice yeah but that was after you realized that you didn't change the socks right. yeah but to realize I didn't change them yeah I was just oh my god <laughs> I didn't change my socks <laughs> so I was just like wow of all things I didn't change my stinking socks really Right. It was that feeling.
it, you, you know, it was just... Disappointed. Yeah. yeah. What is it like to be disappointed? I don't like that feeling of okay, being disappointed, what, but <laughs> it's, um, it makes me sad. Okay. That's, that's better. It makes me sad. I don't like being that sad. And sad and um, a feeling of uh, having no control in a way, I guess, of my feelings in a way. And I don't want to be that way, of not being in control of my feelings and my emotional state. Okay. So, um, so you... You're giving a, a reading and, uh, to a group about something that's important to you, right? And then you, you realize, what's the realization? That I hadn't changed myself. Right. Because it's very important to have the right talks when you're giving a speech to a group. Well, when I don't want to be found out who I am or recognized, it is. Because I have to be incognito. I can't be found out. If I find out, they're going to kick me out of there and they're not going to listen to anything I have to say. I'm kicked to the curb, buddy. I mean, that's it for yeah. me. Sure. So the socks are like the main part of the disguise? Or? Well, it's not. But if someone's astute enough to notice it, I'm done. Done. That's it. That's all it takes is for someone to notice that. And I realized that in my dream. I guess, be, I don't know, I'm a very observant person myself, and I don't know if maybe that's what I expect from others, but that's not the dream, but mm -hmm. I'm observant. So in myself, when I'm observant, I, I guess I just, I noticed it. But too late. Mm -hmm. It was too late. So you do think it's very important to have the right, the right kind of socks? <laughs> no, I actually don't wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> but in the dream, um, it was. Like that would have, would, would that have helped you attain your goal? No. Oh, it wouldn't? No. No. Wait, so it is important or, is it, or it isn't? Well, the socks weren't important, no. Um, as far as attaining my goal, no. Um, it was getting my word out. But I felt that that would have been a hindrance to doing that. So when you realized about the socks, did that block you from achieving your goal? I think it did because my scene changed. Right. Then it, the scene went to the cats. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It, it, I lost focus. Apparently I lost focus at that point. Because of this state of mind? Yeah. What, is, what was that like? Uh, could you say more about that state? Well, I had been sad earlier in the day. Okay. And I don't usually cry. I'm not much of a crier. But I had been crying. And, uh, and it hurt me what I had. I had... <laughs> I don't see and I don't want to cry about it. I don't like talking. I don't want to talk about it. But it hurt my feelings. What I read, something I read, hurt my feelings. It made me sad and I didn't finish reading it. And then I tried discussing it with somebody and they poked fun at it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like it. It hurt my feelings. I don't mind that if somebody doesn't agree with me, it doesn't see my point of view, that's fine. But to poke my out of it, I don't think that's necessary and I don't think it's nice. And it hurt my feelings. And it, and what is it like to have your feelings hurt like that? Well, it happens often and that's fine, but to someone that's really close to me, it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't open myself a lot to a lot of people, so it hurts. Not in that aspect where I share a lot about myself. And especially things that I'm reading that are a little uh, different than outside the box thinking. Important things. I, yeah. Yeah. 
believe in a lot of balance in life, and it wasn't a lot to me to talk about it, and at least to me. It doesn't change who I am. I'm not going to change who I am. But it hurt my feelings, yeah. Are you uh, okay to keep exploring this? Yeah, this, you already got me here. Stuck? Yeah, a little bit. What did you see failed in that first paragraph? Are you asking me? That would be. Um, well, that I didn't stay and get my get listened to. My my point of view. My 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 feelings, my thoughts, my. You, yeah, you thought you needed a mask. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I wasn't exactly as. Uh... Right. It didn't work. Right. Right. <laughs> right. It had a flaw in your mask. It certainly right. did. Right. It didn't work. Right. So. And whether. Other Being myself. people saw it or not doesn't matter. It was enough for you to see it. Right. So yeah. You're seeing a flaw and a mask you're wearing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. Right? Now, what's happening in the next paragraph? Well, um... <laughs> I, I don't know. The, let's see. Well, you're seeing two cats. Yeah. Come on. And then and another one. Whatever is happening, they become more Go aggressive. Ahead. More aggressive. And, and threaten you. And they threaten me. What's that like? That hurt me because that's out of character for what I feel. That's that hurts me to have. That's pretty clear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You pointed this way a moment ago. What yeah, that, it hurts me mean? all what? over. <laughs> all over? Yeah. Because yeah. I presume because you don't particularly care to be eaten by cats. <laughs> well right. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. eaten period, but yeah, yeah that yeah, would be a horrible scene. Yeah. Plus I feel I feel that I believe I believe that we should be in harmony with everything. Yeah. And it hurt me that the cats wanted to eat me because I no. don't believe that to be their nature. That's right. So what hap what would what conclusion would you draw about the cat episode? That that's not right. That you got into something. Go ahead. That wasn't I viewed something <laughs> I didn't Yeah, I, go ahead. I viewed something as something it wasn't. I know that. And only discovered. I need to stick with what I know, who I am, and not try to disguise it or sugarcoat who I am. Hmm. Yeah. Could you? Uh, it's rather curious. Let's see that line. Um, I realized that they are all starving and want to eat me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you realize something. Yeah. Right. Two cats that appeared in the beginning to be what? Or how? Yeah, they were, well, at first they were just curious. They were just sitting there. Yeah. But, go ahead, finish it. But then... Did they look aggressive at the beginning? No. They went through what? Starvation. Ah! Right. Hey. Right. You find yourself, mm -hmm. come on, finish it. You find yourself in a scene that appears yeah. at first. To be, to be aggressive, but it's not. There's a purpose as to why there's that scene. They're really not aggressive. At first. At first, but no. then they are aggressive. Yeah, that's later. But 
But wait a minute. What were you doing at first with them? Trying to communicate with them and oh. talk to them. Pardon me? Trying to ask them not to eat me and talk with them. You wanted to talk with them. <coughs> yeah. I did. You wanted to communicate with them. Yeah. Right. You wanted to relate to them. I did. And they turn out to be? Aggressive. Yeah, dangerous. Because I cut my foot and was bleeding and they were starving. Oh, <laughs> so that indicated, yeah, what did that do to them? Well, that really turned them on. Yeah. <laughs> they were really on to me. Right. It was like a shark. Yeah. And, and, you know, infested yeah. water is just, yeah. Yeah. I was lunch. Yeah. It's not possible that in the past day or so you were trying to talk to some people that turned into a couple of cats, you could it? <laughs> I read a book about. <laughs> <laughs> I read a book about communicating with animals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they looked pretty mild at first. Yeah. But. Well, no, they didn't get aggressive. They're. Uh, it's about communicating with animals. But what is your mind telling you? They're what? Well. They're going to remain passive and peaceful. No. Well, no, they're wild. Right. Some, yeah, yeah, and I have to be aware. Yeah. Say it again. I have to be aware. Uh, otherwise? I'll get eaten. Mm. <laughs> Alive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? Come on. Do it again. <sighs> Have I, come on, finish the story. Have I found myself among pleasant beings and then after a while discovered? Yeah, things? they're not so nice. And might even threaten you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, see, so in, the, in the dream, I... You want to realize that danger much earlier. Yeah. Right? That's the moral of the story, isn't it? Yeah. You tolerated them. I did. More than finish it. More than was mm. necessary. More than needed. Yeah, I do that a lot. Are you doing that? Yeah. Hmm, what's your mind telling you? Maybe to start yeah. speaking See, a little more. It's good that you are realizing it. That's good. But you want to realize it in the beginning. Right, right. right. So you tolerated something longer, right? I did, I did. In the dream and in life. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes. What's it telling you? I don't always have to be so good natured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Step back, fools. I think we have a question here. Oh, yes. The cats, Maria, and wait, 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 others. This. The yeah. scene that she brought up yeah, was, so, was mirrored in yeah. the cat. So the, the, yeah. what the dream didn't deal with oh. is whether you really need the mask because it's saying your mask is, ain't working. It's not working anyways. Yeah, maybe you ought to just, drop it. Just drop it. Yeah. Just be, yeah. be just doing me. And, and you are seeing, but your mind is telling you, hey. Do it earlier. Yeah, don't get it a little earlier build. before it gets into a tap fight. <laughs> yes, don't let things build. Good, yeah. good, good, good. I think you, yeah. I think you answered it. I was huh. going to ask about the mask. Like, who are these people that you're trying to... Curious? With? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What do you think um, curious I, about dreams? I have a... Um, oh, wait, I can't do cross talk. Um, He's on the left hand. Um, sorry. Um, what do you think you have to look at to make a dream work? Here's what I want to say. Understand it. Always. State your mind. Oh, I think that right. Right? And look at the crisis. Yeah. Mm -hmm.